hi everyone in this video i will show you how to build 3d model and perform 3d stop stability analysis to calculate or to estimate the factor of safety there are uh, more than one method or more than one way to build your 3d model in slide 3 but what in this video i'm gonna show you one of the methods that you can use it to build your 3d models is the most easiest one and it's very fast and uh, you can calculate and or estimate the 3d uh, uh, factor of safety okay so and um, i have this 2d model uh, in slide 2 slide 2 software this model have two different materials this one and this one if i double click here you will see that this material is uh, has 19 kN per cubic meter unit weight and i use strength type more column with cohesion 28.5 and friction angle 20 degrees okay and we have also weak layer this weak layer is uh, is uh, it has a 10 degree of friction angle with 18.5 unit weight and that's it it's a very simple model with loading uh, on the top of the slope represent uh, this could be represent anything this example by the way it's available to public in the website of rock science and uh, i'm just using the their example that they provided so the this model also has a water table as you can see here it's already defined as on the surface here and it has some depth on the other side of the slope and that's it so let's see how we're gonna build this model and how we can um, uh, build it in 3d Sl slide 2 and slide 3 softwares both of these softwares use limit equilibrium method to analyze the and run the slope stability analysis uh, i just want to uh, emphasize on this it's using a limit equilibrium not finite element so with limit equilibrium, you need uh, you need one of these models to define the strength of the material you have. So I'm using the most common one, which is the more column. You need just friction angle and cohesion, which is just two parameters. Okay. So I already have I already run this analysis in 2D. And I got factor of safety equal to 0 0.67, 0 0.671, let's say 0 0.7. This is the factor of safety I obtained uh, with the 2D analysis. Okay. Uh, the surface I'm using is non circular search method Kogo search in 2D. Okay. And the uh let me show you the search limit i'm using define limits with two boundary from here to here okay and now let's open the three uh, slide three slide slide three it's called slide three okay so the only thing you need to do is just drop the slide 2d model in this window that's it the software is going to ask you which scenario you're going to choose a scenario click ok and then it's going to ask you about the extrusion, the extrusion depth, the other depth and the third dimension. I'm just going to use 200 meter. We click OK. Done. You already now in a in few seconds, you have uh, 3D models with all the soil defined already with the loading and boundary condition defined already from uh, transferred from slide 2 to 3d that's that's amazing it's really powerful software i really like this uh, software and so you don't need to define anything basically here you can just go ahead and run analysis and it will analyze and calculate the factor of safety in three for this 3d model as you can see here uh, we have three different layers as we saw before uh, two different layers one three layers but this and this one it has the same soil material so you can see the check the material from if you clicked here this is the volume so here we we're dealing with volumes this is the soil property that we are using if you want to check this you just go to material define material and see what's this you're going to see it's more column and has exactly the same 
cohesion and same friction angle from the previous analysis so everything you transferred everything from 2d to 3d that's really incredible and very amazing I really like it even the water table this is the water table you see this is the water table in 3d you see it has some depth on the top of the slope and it's on the on the surface on the down downstream here you can hide it and you can also hide the load as you can see here I am just hiding by clicking on this icon here or you can just show it okay uh, you can check the units and other stuff if you go to uh, analysis and project settings you can check the analysis the units the method of analysis I'm just gonna choose one method here just to save some time because the more you choose the more method you choose the more time the analysis will take uh, okay and click OK and let's click on compute to calculate the factor of safety so now it's uh, thinking and it is uh, calculating the factor of safety using Jambu method and you see here it's Kogo search which is non-circular so it, you transferred everything by just dropping the model in 3D window here you transferred all the properties of the material all the boundary condition, the loading conditions every single thing transferred automatically to Settle 3D which is really amazing and of course uh, slide 3 using uh, limit equilibrium same thing as slide 2 it's gonna take uh, approximately two to three minutes to run this analysis uh, you can minimize this window let's go back to slide 2 I'm just gonna check the property of soil you see here 19 28.5 20 so this is exactly the same material property for soil which is this yellow material that we are showing here it's transferred everything okay so I see it's still thinking and calculating the factor of safety let's wait it's gonna take a few more minutes to run I would like to mention to another great tool that this powerful software has which is 2d analysis so basically you build your 3d model and uh, you get the factor of safety but you said okay how about if I run if I took section here let's say we take section here in the middle and we say we need to run this section in 2d you can do that in uh, by clicking on this icon and it's gonna the software the slide 3 is gonna use use slide 2 engine to run this analysis which is great so this is this is very uh, simple geometric uh, so simple geometry uh, of, of the model that we have uh, if you have for example very complex geometry and you want to run 3d definitely you're gonna have some difference between the factor of safety in 2d and the factor of safety in 3d because the complexity of the geometry is gonna influence the factor of safety it's gonna add more uh, another parameter which is the existing ground and the and the the complex of the geometry it's it's not always it's gonna the 3d analysis is not gonna have always a higher factor of safety in most of the cases it does especially in this case uh, if you have very simple geometry yes you're gonna get a higher factor of safety but in some other cases it's not always the same you're gonna get higher factor of safety in 3d sometimes you get lower factor of safety it depends on the geometry it depends on many other stuff you can also validate the factor of safety using the strength uh, the strength reduction uh, method or SSR strength soil strength uh, ratio using finite element method so, uh, and you can use it actually RS2 from the same company rock science you can use uh, finite difference or finite finite element method to validate your factor of safety so basically the SSR factor that you can calculate in, in slope stability 
in, in finite element method, you can compare it to the to the to the factor of safety that you got from limit equilibrium analysis. But in this case, you need more uh, soil properties. In, uh, in finite element, you need you need um, stiffness parameters. So the analysis is done. Let's go to the results. This is how we got the interpret window. So these results represent the interpret window that we have in slide two. As you can see here, this is the most critical fact, uh, slip surface, and we have a factor of safety 0.72. In the previous analysis in 2D, we got 0.67. Let's say 0.7 if we uh, modify this to but one number after decimal. So it's, this is 0.7. If we go back to 3D, this is 0.7. So basically, it's the same factor of safety. But imagine you have more complex geometry. This is going to have this is going to be different for sure if you have more complex and by the way slide 3d using artificial intelligence to define the most critical uh, surface and 3d so uh, we used to define these limits of search by these two arrows in 3d you can define and tell the software to search a specific area by drawing a box so you can go here and draw a box and you tell the software we want the software to search in this specific area which is represented by the box okay and, and later in more videos I will explain to you how to do that so let's let's take a look on, uh, on this thing here you can have uh, all the all the factor of safety you can see if you have more than method in this analysis I just use jumbo method so I'm just I'm using we can see only one method because I choose from beginning I need to have uh, the factor of safety calculated by using Jambo method. Okay. Okay. Let's see what what other future this software has. I just clicked here in this icon so you can see all the factor of safety, all the slip surface with different factor of safety. You can add you can add the filter. For example, uh, let's I tell the software I you know I want the factor of safety to be shown in this figure from zero. To five. Let's let's, let's oh, from zero to three. Now I have this slip surface. You see, so I'm just showing the factor of the slip surface that has factor of safety from zero to three. We can change this by clicking again here. Uh, you can add, you can delete this, or you can just modify it. Uh, yeah, you can. I guess you can. You can modify it by clicking on filters and then change this to seven. Now you have more slip surface, slip surfaces uh, from zero to seven factor of safety. So how about if I want to see this model in 2D? You just click on this icon here and then you will see this model in 2D. You can see the slip surface as you can see here. This is the load the loading area in the red color and this is the water table okay and you can actually let's let's show you this you can see all other windows and you can move this section the one that I just showed you here if you click back here again you see this arrow here you see this arrow you can just move it anywhere and this will update automatically we cannot see any difference here because this two section is the same everywhere because this is very simple okay uh, so you can create a report you can do multiple stuff you can show uh, this scale color you can show the base normal strength so I'm just showing here the base normal strength. you can see the base effective normal stress poor water pressure I clicked on this icon here show contours so you can show multiple stuff here all these parameters and the contours and the 3d uh, models that you have click again and you it's, this is gonna disappear you can also uh, uh, you can add a surface map uh, I mean uh, surface safety map which is so in this red area you have the the most critical surface slip surface and the blue and uh, yellow and orange you have higher factor of safety okay 
Uh, I hope you enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.